Eurovision! Sorry if that was loud for your ears. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone between, hello, welcome to the channel. We've been doing a lot of the winners. We've been just watching from 1956 to 2021 and seeing how Eurovision has changed. But one thing we have still not done in the like two years that I've been doing Eurovision content is give focus to the runner ups, the people who got second place, the ones who a lot of people argue should have or could have won the show. So today we're doing all runner ups in Eurovision Song Contest from 1957 I don't know why we excluded 1956 to 2022. As we know, Ukraine won 2022 and the UK was the runner up. In my opinion, this is the best year that um, the UK has had in a long time. And then if you've seen the songs for Eurovision Junior, the UK is also coming to play. Georgia and the UK, I think are gonna battle it out for this year's Eurovision Junior. But that's a separate video. Let's get into the runner ups and pay them some respect. Subscribe to me here. Let me know what other content you want. You always are gonna get Eurovision content on this channel, especially as we move closer and closer into 2023 Eurovision. But yeah, comment down below what you want and DM it to me also on Instagram. Um, Cause I can see your comments over there a bit easier than over here. Here we go. Second place. Shout out to Schlager Lucas. All the gays. Okay. La chanson de la belle amour. France. I love the classics, can't lie. C'est la belle amour. Oh. La belle amour. She has character. Come on, please. There's just a separate character about. No, 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 no. No. One thing about Europe and Eurovision, when y'all stick to your roots, oh, it hits so different. Like that, you can't tell me that's not uh, Switzerland. Oh, the classics are the best for me. I love those. They just have a different feeling and energy than like modern day Eurovision. The UK. That's where I love to be. Neath the bird on the branch. Neath the branch on a tree. Neath the tree. I feel like I'm watching a Disney movie. Where you said you love me. Oh. Sing little birdie, sing your song. Sing and help our love along. Sing little birdie up above. Yeah. Sing a song of love. Bum bum bum. Oh, again the UK. Twice in a row. Why why why? Second place. You better sing, Brian. I would die because I love her so, sir. Then that's a toxic relationship. Seek therapy, please. Oh, whistle! If I were the UK in the '60s, I'd be pissed. Cause why the heck? Three times second place. Explain. Three, three times in a row, second place. Let me win. Y'all hating on me. <laughs> I don't really like this one as much though. Are you sure you won't be sorry? Are they still alive? You won't me back again to hold you Are they still alive? Let's do the math. He's pushing at least, he's at least 30 in this video. It's 1962. We're now in, in the 2020s. So 40, 40 plus 30, 70. Plus another 20 to get into this decade. 90, he'd be in his 90s. Oh my gosh. I know these are in black and white, but I didn't realize we were watching freaking Stone Age content. Rest in peace, sir. It's Francis de Guelt. It's kind of sad. Switzerland again. Ooh. Sound of music. 
Si ton corps est ton corps, I love when they speak their own language too. Une dernière fois, ne va pas, ne va pas. Va de voix, de voix. Yes. I love again. Okay, the UK early was a vibe. You can't even deny it. Let's stay forever together this way. My love, I'm so in love with you. Oh, predictable lyrics. No, 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 no. Because y'all have had it out for the UK. You've got to. This is disrespect. At this point, they're like number one that we've seen over and over again for second place. And Luxembourg keeps winning. Kathy? Kathy? You better sing, Kathy. She's not, I don't know what, what style of singing would you call this? Because she's not really singing. She's like talking, but it's like ugh, really high octave talking. I feel like I'm watching a play kind of thing, you know, like a musical. Sorry to pause again, but another thing I'm noticing about um, these early winners or second place people, the, the instrumental and the band, I love that it's live, but it kind of drowns out the vocalist. Like, it's hard to hear the singer over the, the music. Ireland! Holiday could last. Winner UK, second place Ireland. Last <laughs> for and I'd never leave your side if I could choose. Justice for Ireland. Oh, twice in a row. Dun, 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 so you're telling me this freaking song came from Eurovision? I said, okay, the next Eurovision video we should do should be like the icons. We've got Celine Dion, we've got ABBA. Um, um, who, who, I feel like Cher was on Eurovision at some point. Like Eurovision has been iconic throughout the decades. We've got to check out some more like crazy historical stuff about, I wouldn't even be surprised if Elvis was on the show. I love the suit too. No second place in 1969 due to four countries sharing the first place by getting the same amount of points. Okay, I feel like someone had to have created a rule by now to make sure that doesn't happen again. Because how do you decide who's going to host the next show? You know? Mary Poppins! The UK again. The door is always open. Not Ireland getting their spin back. Knock, knock. Who's there? Uh. Now as the night is mm. falling, mm. take off your coat and come inside. The rain. Ooh. Ooh. Karina, you better sing. No, because why could I see them on the radio? Beg, Steal, or Borrow, I feel like was a hit. It ha Luxembourg again. At this point, I have beef with Luxembourg. Why are they winning everything? I feel like we're seeing the same people win, 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 same people second, second place, and it's usually the UK. I would say justice for the UK, but babe, justice for the rest of the world. <laughs> that was an imperialism. I love that velvet suit! Ooh, they look good! 
No, I think the 70s is definitely my favorite decade for fashion, at least in Eurovision. The suits, oh my god, even the dresses, that turtleneck dress. This is the best decade of the fashions. The hairstyles too. Sideburns. The Beatles were probably... Okay, again, with the country sticking to their roots, this is definitely an Italian style song. Like, it's giving opera, it's giving Italy, it's giving heavy heart, it's giving soul, but with vibrato. How the backup singers have to share one freaking mic? I that high note. <laughs> Let me be the one who always understands. Uh-uh. I feel like this is definitely an era of the Beatles. It had to have been. Everybody knows we've been good friends, but I think the time Wait, not me liking it. So let me be the one who's loving you tonight. From France? In Detroit. In Detroit. Look at the hair. I love the 70s, the fashion. The UK again. They're performing, though. The facial expressions. She's giving it her all. Alright, alright, alright. I feel like that's a good place to stop. So, the UK freaking owns this video, because why do we see them so many times in second place? Who, y'all were just beefing with the UK since the beginning of time, I guess, with Eurovision. But weren't they a part of the like, top five? So it's always guaranteed that they're going to get to the final, is my understanding. Which they do, they just never win. <laughs> or they won a few times, I guess. Um, yeah, the UK had some really good songs though in this one. I was surprised, but let me know if you want me to do a part two to this video. Let's get, mm, let's get 722 likes on this video for a part two. I'll see you in the next one though.